So, this time uh, we're sort of simulating a loss of power steering and soon to be a loss of life. That's, that's easy. Going straight is easy as well. So this is the bigger motor, AKM54, for the sim steering uh, system. Arguably uh, one of the best, or the best, oh, I'm, I'm not liking this already. Four seatback system uh, available from the Obotnar. And this is the bigger motor, so the normal one is 16 Newton meters, which is uh, enough to for all the previous videos I did to make me uh, sweat and make a fool, about, fool out of myself as you guys point and laugh. And as I have cold brakes... Uh, and this one is uh, 25, 26 apparently, which is more. And these cars have power steering in real life. But, oh. now we're sort of simulating a loss of that power steering. So the peaks are 25 newton meters and I'm just a wimpy small guy. And here in the bottom it loads up and I have to use a lot of my strength. Which is not much, but it's... I'm regretting this. Especially getting your hand off the steering wheel and uh, when you have to apply more lock than 90 degrees it's physically <sighs> hard because of the arms in that position beyond 90 degrees they don't exert as much torque on the steering wheel <sighs> like I want to. <sighs> the beauty though with all that torque it's stable. It's uh, completely fine and not dangerous it just makes you sweat a lot so let's see what a lap with this wheel is like I've made a video calculating the steering loads required on for example a single seater and it's very believable that the steering torques here are not outrageous at all on a car without power steering so, yeah, it really can be this difficult, especially like a Formula 3 or a GP2 car at high speed. <sighs> so, <laughs> the plus side is though, opposite lock is out of your hands because it does it for you. So, all wheels do that of course, but this, with this much torque you cannot uh, overcorrect or anything like that. It decides where the front wheels want to point. So as much as it's as it is tiring, it's also a driving aid to have a strong four seat back wheel. Now in realistically I would get this one if you have a training simulator for single seaters for example. Or other cars without power steering, historic cars for example. For most normal people, oh. <laughs> excuses to the wall. This at 16 is enough, but I'm not most normal people, and especially on downforce cars, I want to be tired in the corners. But I'm not up to it yet. I have to really do some physical exercise in order to take control of the car again, because now. I'm not in control, I'm so physically near my limit. Pretty much like, oh, see, <laughs> I just barely made it because I, uh, I couldn't do it. So just like with the pedal at 120 kilos, I can perhaps press that just a little while. But like I said in a previous video, my eyes balls pop out and that's not the best uh, way to see the track. So. I can apply this torque briefly, but I lose all my uh, little skill that is available, so that makes it really tricky to drive. Oh. It does force you to uh, be smooth and behave. You don't want to do any excessive uh, lock or steering. Which is a very good training tool in a way to uh, behave and be smooth. 
especially in these cars, because smooth or small slides is that's uh, the quickest way. But before you know it, with a lighter wheel, you're sort of throwing the cars around and overdriving them. And with this, I can't overdrive the car. But in those dippers where the tires load up, that's where I've calibrated it to reach <laughs> one end on the steering. Ow. <laughs> to reach that torque. But the good thing is, in those dippers at high speed, there's not a lot of steering lock applied. So my arms are in a better position to, to come up with the torque. Let's see. Ah, win. Ah. Oh, groan. Ooh. Oh, and this is, I have to abuse the fact that the front tires are pretty much in the air for a moment. That's when I can turn the wheel. So when I load it up, I just cannot turn beyond. So I'm gripping, re-gripping this wheel now. <laughs> So yeah, it's just amazing that real cars could easily require this much steering torque. So hats off to the drivers. Now, saying that, oh sorry for the engine and the missing. They do have power steering in real life in the V8 supercar. But they have a very, very hot cockpit and a heavy 100 kilo brake pedal. So by no means they have it easy. Missing. How can you miss shift if a sequential shifter? I can. Oh. The strays are marvelous. A bit of uh, rest and relaxation. Okay, I'll do one more lap after this. If I survive this one see what happens one hand on the wheel is I just can I want to be oh that's that was helped with a bit of rear end locking I just couldn't apply the steering lock that I wanted there with one hand so it forces you to be smooth but sometimes oh two wheels two wheels uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, running wide. <laughs> uh, in earlier I said that two wheels provide less grip than one, which is true. But sadly being on two wheels doesn't really reduce the steering effort <laughs> because the outside front wheel still loaded very heavily. So the majority of the force feedback, ah, oh, my wrists. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's not make tired wrist jokes. I said I would do another lap, so I'm going to stick to my word. Oh, what have I got myself into? But at the end it is totally amazing. The detail in the wheel makes you forget the shift. And the fact that it's reliable and dependable, it doesn't oscillate or break my wrists. Yet if you want to turn, there's just a, I don't know, a bag of cement hanging on the edge of the wheel. It's getting truly moist in these trousers. I'm sorry, too much information. And this brake is also getting stiff now. Having done so many laps and being such a wimpy Dutchman. Oh, struggle. I'm just hoping that I manage enough steering lock to make the car go around the bend. Uh, 
Oh, I'm not managing it. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Forgot to blip. That's potential suicide. Uh. Uh. Oh. I'm getting to the point where my muscles, wimpy as they are, are saturating. But I soldier on. <laughs> Why didn't I pick fishing as a hobby? Nope, he didn't. I had to be sim racing! I had to be sim racing! Right on the brakes! Slow, slow in! So I'm almost two seconds slower than. I can do better! I can do better! Bit too much of a slide there. In the replay, it wouldn't show as a big opposite lock moment, but just killed a bit of momentum. Ah. <sighs> okay. 80 kilos. 80 kilos. Apex somewhere over to the right. Ah. Again, bit too much of a slide. Oh, so heavy. But that'll do. Uh, no, not bad. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, I've reduced my uh, arms to a uh, a mush pudding. So uh, I guess that's about as good a time as any to call it a day. Thank you for watching this. Uh, I have some sympathy for this poor old, old yes, old man, and uh, hope you enjoy that. And uh, this car, even with normal forcey back, ex well, rather, especially with normal forcey back, is a hoot to drive. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye bye.